Lumela viewers, welcome to today's episode of Load Shedding, a show that focuses explicitly on current affairs pertaining to the continent of Africa. And today we shall be focusing on a must-watch segment, which takes us to Zambia. My name is Case Kiwinda. In today's must-watch segment, I'm going to talk to you about a film that was created by a young lady called Rungano Nioni back in 2017, or at least it came out in 2017. Now, Rungano Nyoni was born and raised in Zambia. Well, raised to a certain extent, because at a very young age, she moved with her family to Wales. Uh, she went on to study drama at the London University of Arts, and after that, she performed in three films. Now, after that, it's like she listened to the meaning of her name, which is uh, Rungano, which means story or folktale, because she turned to filmmaking. And she made three films before she created the one that I'm going to talk to you about today in a little bit more detail. Before I go into greater detail on the film that came out last year, in 2017, let me make a quick recap on the movies that were created before then. The List in 2009, Mwansa the Great in 2011, and Listen in 2014. The name of the film that came out last year is called I'm Not a Witch, and it's causing quite a stir. Now the inspiration of this film came about from an experience or draws from an experience that Rungano had in her native Zambia. You see, what happened was she was visiting her grandmother and the neighbor of the grandmother came screaming, shouting, convinced that the grandmother of this neighbor was a witch and had turned into a snake. Now this experience piqued the interest of Rungano with regards to witchcraft. And she started to dig a little bit into, well, what is witchcraft in Zambia? And she came to some interesting findings like for example most people accused of being witches are either young kids or older women and she went on or her research went on to take her to Ghana where she visited an actual witch camp and these witch camps are actually run by the government in Ghana now she also found that these uh, camps are sort of a mix of three things the, the part prison part sanctuary and part tourist attraction and this laid the foundation of the setting for her film. Margaret Mulubwa steals the show in a movie playing a nine-year-old girl called Shula, who is accused by the villagers of being a witch. She faces the choice of accepting that she is a sorcerer and being sent to the witch camp, or refusing that she's a witch and this refusal would turn her into a goat. Now you can imagine that being a goat in Zambia is not the easiest creature to be because you could risk becoming someone's supper. So what you see in this film is a young girl called Shula who is labeled as a witch and you see how she struggles with that um, label of being, being called a, a witch. But she's not the only one, you know, there's other witches in there and you can see the interaction between the witches and the witches and Shula and how they try and comfort each other. At the same time, you also see how the general public looks at these witches and what they expect of these witches. And that this is such a, a successful formula speaks for itself. You know, this film has already won nine awards and has been nominated for another 24. So to you, the general public, I'd say, go and watch this film and see for yourself why it is so captivating. And if you don't, well, I have to warn you, you just might turn into a goat. That's it for today. I really hope that you go and watch this movie. I think it's worth the while. If you have any comments or questions, please place them in the box below. And I would like to request you to please, please, please subscribe to my social media platforms which are Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, right here on YouTube. My name is Case Kiwinda. Until next time.